Good morning. I'm Lois Carrier, Certified Financial Planner. We've been discussing the financial abuse of our elderly. Today we're going to discuss the fact that much of this abuse occurs upon retirement and what the government is doing to try to prevent it. An analysis by the White House Council of Economic Advisors found that conflicts of interest existing in the current investment system result in annual losses of about one percentage point for affected investors. <clears throat> to put that into plain English, about $17 billion a year. <clears throat> to quote Monica Franklin, loopholes in the retirement advice rules have allowed some brokers and other advisors to recommend products that put their own profits ahead of their client's best interest, hurting millions of American workers and their families. A system where firms benefit from backdoor payments and hidden fees, often buried in fine print when they talk responsible Americans into buying bad retirement investments instead of recommending quality investments. The final rule definition of the term is a fiduciary rule, conflict of interest rule, retirement advisors. This becomes effective, became effective June the 17th of 2016, but it won't be applicable until April the 10th of 2018. The additional time has been granted so financial services and their advisors had the opportunity to submit additional concerns or recommended changes to these regulations. And listen to this to have a sufficient time to change their systems and processes from non-fiduciary to fiduciary status. Excuse me, viewers, but how many of you thought that all financial advisors, planners, wealth advisors, etc., already were required by law to put your interest ahead of their own? The fiduciary standard simply means that by law, I have to put your interest ahead of my own. More about this topic next week because it's this is a hot topic going on right now, and we need to spend a lot of time talking about it. Thank you.